Welcome back to part two, you guys. Let's pick up where we left off. We were at the beach house. All you gotta do is say this house, side note, this house I have. I don't think this is anybody's house. No, it's not. It don't look like it's anybody's house. But I actually have this house. I got this house from a weekend sale. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got the house and I said, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with this house or when I'm going to use this house, but I'm going to get it. I'm not, right before we go in, give me one second. I am not a fan of the outside of it, but I like the inside. And that was part of the reason that it comes in two versions. It comes in the ground version, which is this version. And then it also comes in a skybox version. So I probably would be more prone to use the skybox version if I ever did um, pull this out the inventory. Look at this. You guys know I love, I love a good house on a land because it helps me understand the thing that's going on. And it also helps me understand the, um, the period that we're in. And so a lot of times they love, they love a good 1800s. They love a good 1800s. This is not necessarily the theme. I have this, this is from Dust Bunny as well. This is the, the theme is not given 1800s, but it's also, it's always like either the 1800s or some type of rustic country vibe. I don't know if those items are just more attainable in Second Life or more easily attainable in Second Life, but that definitely is like an ongoing theme, especially when it's like a beach type atmosphere. It's cute, it's cute, but it's becoming predictable. I will say that it's becoming predictable, but do we care about predictability in Second Life? Mm, kinda, but not not too much because I find that the items that are that come from like dated pieces. This table is too cute with the little flowers. The items that come from um, dated periods, they are very pretty, and so we love a good pretty, we love a good beautiful, and so. That's why I don't really trip on it because I'm like, okay, we've seen this time period before, but it's pretty. So we're going to, we're going to love it still. I love this sink. When I tell you this, this sink looks like it came from Apple fall. That's when, you know, you either have been in second life too long or you not too long, but long and cause you can never be here too long. I'm just saying or you shop a lot because if you can just look at the things that you can kind of tell where they come from. Now there are people that um, make things with similar matching, like this stove is from Nutmeg, but this mess, so the sink might be from Nutmeg as well, but the texturing also to me is reminiscent of um, Apple Fall items. So, or, or is it Merrick or something like that? Their items, look at these veggies. But yeah, but we love, we love a good house, love a good house. But yeah, it was so crazy because I came on and I was just like, I don't know what I'm about to talk to y'all about, but I said, do I ever, do I ever, you know, I started out making Second Life content, like telling stories and things like that. And that quickly changed. And what's so funny is the whole reason why i even started do doing these tours is because one day i came and i was like omg you need to get a video out because i wanted to like stay with my making a video once a week for you know consist consistency purposes of course those flowers are cute they kind of bother me a little bit but like when i'm back here they're cool and so I came on and I was like, I didn't have time to like script the storyline and stuff like that because that's what I was doing at first. Like I was scripting a storyline to like tell you guys kind of like to have like a tale or something like that. And so I went to this land and the land was, I'm going to post the video because I, I, the land was, that's cute. I love a little grass wall. It was a lot going on on the land, much like this land. And I loved to, my thing was I would go to the lands first and I would map them out so that I wouldn't like just be aimlessly walking around and things like that. Like I would know where I was going and everything like that. But this particular day, now I know I'm not even trying to talk about these creators because this is cute, but I know that this is supposed to be ice, but they look like rocks. I don't know if it's my settings, but the limes are cute. So 
the land it was a lot going on i was like i don't have time to map this out so i'm just going to walk around this land and talk because i need to get a video out and that was one of the times where even though i was enjoying um being in second life still my consistency was a little bit lacking at that time and so i didn't want to fall short so i'm like you want to we need to go ahead and get a video out so i just walked around and I'll talk to you guys. And that video did well. And I was like, wait a minute. Y'all like this? I got some nice comments on it, I believe. And I'm like, wait a minute. So y'all just like me walking around and talking to y'all, like showing y'all around the lands and stuff like that. And so I did another video and I did it. And that video did well as well. And I was like, oh, wait a damn minute. Okay, so this is what we do. And so now that's what I do. And I really thank y'all for that because that's really what gave me the idea. I didn't know this is what I do in Second Life. I didn't know that people were gonna be receptive of, of, and I, of this. And I say that all the time because I'm still in disbelief that something that I enjoy this much or that I enjoy doing this much is also enjoyed by others because like i said when i go to these lands they are normally empty now it could have a lot to do with my timing but i visit lands at all different times and so i don't think that it's specifically the timing i think there's a lot of people don't do a lot of exploring anymore in second life and that's sad because the multitude of places that there are to explore in second life to me is so vast that you can go to a different place every day. I did it for April Diamonds, effortlessly, effortlessly. So many places to choose from that I had to stop finding new places until I looked at, um, I toured all of the places that I have in my inventory with you guys. Like I have so many places that I have landmarked in my inventory that I'm going to visit with you guys. I didn't know if this was like a window, but this is a painting. It looked like it was like outside. That's really cute. I like that. And so the fact that you guys like the tours, like you guys really enjoy the tours and I enjoy the tours and I enjoy tour with you guys. It's the cat. Like I ain't even do this. I don't know who did it, but it wasn't me. So I'm just sitting here trying to figure out what had happened because I don't know what I came in here and it was like that. So yeah, so that's something that also brings me joy is just to be able to do something so enjoyable and y'all enjoy it too. When I tell you the comments are like one of my favorite things in Second Life. I love the input. I love being able to chat with you guys and to re really be able to get a better idea of like how y'all felt about the videos or how y'all felt about the topics and things like that. It really, really brings me joy to be able to just like interact with you guys. And I'm like, y'all's my people. Y'all really my people. And I really love that. So another thing I've been trying to figure out what other platform I'm going to go to. I don't know yet, but I'll be there shortly and I'm definitely going to let you guys know. Hopefully you guys can come and hang with me on another platform as well or come view me on another platform as well. I know you guys will because we're cool like that. But yeah, so this is so cute. Look at this desk. Super cute. Very rustic. I love this computer. This is one of the most um, like realistic looking computers. They have, I have a lot of computers in my, well not a lot, but I have computers in my inventory and they're always just kind of like, when you're in Second Life, this is like, okay, this, this could be like a computer setup, but not really. But this is like really like, a realistic computer setup and this is from nutmeg I, I might i might gotta check them out i might gotta check nutmeg out you know i love little add-ons like this this is this the one from it was a, it's a store called second spaces i don't know if this is where it came from but they have things like that and i love just added details like that like a plug a light switch a vent 
things like that that really just kind of bring the realism of the space all together i'm back up because i want y'all to be able to like see this whole room this house is really cute i really like how they did it up super cute this chandelier i have this chandelier this chandelier i it's very pretty but it's it's higher prims than what I would like for a chandelier. I like myself to be low prim. Low prim. Look how pretty this room is. And then you have the view of the pool from the room. Very sexy. Very sexy. Yeah. I might end up decorating this house at some point in time. I was decorating my house and then I just wasn't decorating my house. And so I'm still decorating my house so when that's done i'm definitely gonna show you guys but yeah i don't know what the hell I, I was doing i'm doing with that house like i'll come on i hope this is not nobody house if it is your house is done well it's only one house on this land well this is the only house that i saw on this land so i hope it's not um if it is y'all y'all house is really nice and i was looking around it and i show everybody y'all i really did but uh yeah this house is really sexy i love this room so like this room is giving like victorian vibes they have a lot of stuff from nutmeg here nutmeg stuff i don't know their pram how their prams are i've seen this set on like um a couple different lands super cute but not the whole set but like different parts like the egg and things like that i love the lights look how pretty they are it's so like fairy filling that's how it feels to me that's how it feels to me very very pretty so it does feel dated in here but i don't know if that's really like the theme for the land or if that that's just what they're doing for the house the land doesn't feel dated the land feels more rustic but not dated but this house feels dated very much um countryside living maybe like the early 1900s when things weren't so simple i don't know but that's what it's that's what it's given it's given you carry your books with it with a leather belt it's it, that's what it's given that's what this land is giving me it's given lace slips and pocketbooks that's what it's given so i don't know like what period this is but i like it i like it, it it's very nice i do like it super duper cute i love a good plant and they like plants too plants to me are like the best thing to use to fill up a space super cute and nice and low prim this chair has a lot of detail a lot of detail when you zoom in on it it's a lot going on a lot of ridges and they took their time meshing that i don't even want to know how long that took I used to want to get into mesh but i don't know you know anything that that looks like it's it's gonna take a bunch of steps and i'm gonna have to keep doing it over and over again in second life i'm not interested in i'm not interested. i said i'm gonna leave that to the pros tis a reason why everybody not doing it if it was easy everybody would be doing it look at that she's like yes and we're going to the parlor and we're about to have some fun put your stole on baby we're getting it in okay it's giving afro just saying this vanity is super cute and very very cute let I me mean, look at this brush it's so pretty and dainty and just so feminine i love it we'll close that lipstick up all right now oh this is from dust bunny this is cute look at the perfume uh-huh dated they need to bring this back bring back the old-fashioned perfume bottle you know because because that's really what needs to be going on here so they have this little lake out here i wonder can i it's like a little island i wonder can i step on this is it gonna let me walk on this to get over here and will Look at this view. Mm-hmm. Very beautiful. What they say? If it costs you your piece, it's too expensive. Period. Period. Cause peace is priceless, baby. 
this is a really cute spot for pictures then they have the little boat can you get on a boat it looked like you could get on a boat and they have the little butterflies oh i love it love it what are these are these like little lily lights is that what this is it is like a little candlelight so pretty i bet you this place is beautiful at midnight i know it look at it oh look at the bubbles it's so pretty i knew it would be i knew it would be because of the little lights that they have i knew that it would be so y'all, this is the magic hour. The landmark for this place will be in the description box below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.